welcome. Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to be continuing painting uh, Star Saga minis. But I did say we're going to do the boxes and the crates first, but I forgot about these ones. So I'm going to do these first, like water storage tanks or experiment vats, whatever you want to call them, whatever they are, I do not know. But we're going to paint these. So we're going to start off with a little bit of Administratum Grey. I'll pop this ooh, on the palette. Now this is a very similar grey that is that's what's already on the um, what you call it? Already on the mini. It's a very similar shade to the primer that I use. So don't worry, I'm not going to be using that over the primer because there's no point. We're not going to see what there is. So what we're going to do with that is add a little bit of the Nami Painter Spaceship Exterior. So I'll give this a good shake. There we are. Now then, put that in there. And then we're going to get our brush. Give it a little bit of a wet. And pop some of the grey over here. And then add some of this spaceship exterior into this to make it a lot paler. That's what we're trying to do with this is we're trying to pale this colour right down. <clears throat> and we're going to go over, as you can see, all the top areas. Um, so this, we're going to use this as the base for white um, because I want to do something slightly different with this one than I've done before. So we'll do the, on this, as I say, for the base for the white to make it look um, or to give the white paint something to distinguish it from, as it were. So uh, carry on with this and as I say all of the parts that we want the solid colour we'll paint this um, now we're not going to paint well it's not going to be completely white this we're going to be adding the blue and the orange with it as well um, as time goes on so we're just making a base colour here. Every other colour that we put on is going to be on top of this. Just a nice pale colour to work with. Program activated.
Okay, so we're about done now with this grey. We're only going to give it one coat, we don't need too much of it on. Um, as I say, it's just a base colour, it's not, um, it's not going to be a colour that's going to be on view all the time. So I'll just wash those, I'll wash the brush, and then we'll get back to painting. So that's what we have so far. In fact, I just realised I've missed a little bit on this one here. I'll go back and just give it a little bit of a touch up. Although we don't have much of the paint left, but what we have got will be enough for what we need. There we are. So once again, I'll give, it a, give the brush a wash. And <coughs> next, we've got, we're thinking about this tank area. So we're going to go into Stormhost Silver for this. I want a metallic look to this because I want to make it look as though there's glass and it will have a certain type of shine to it. So I'll put some of this into here. I'm going to have to get some more of this paint. So I'm going to do this just on the Um, what's going to be the glass or the surround or the surrounding areas of it? Now, bear in mind that it's not going to look like this when we're finished. Again, this is a base coat, but I just want a, a slight shimmer underneath the main coat, which is why I'm doing it in this silver colour. I know it's a little strange for what I usually do. I usually like to put a dark colour underneath metallics but I said I don't want this to be metallic so that's why I'm not doing that so I'm just going to make sure that I paint over but I don't cover or I don't go on the bits that we just painted in the grey any of the grey that we did actually use or did actually uh, catch the vertical bits with then yeah okay we can paint over those but as it stands no it's not we don't want it going on the main areas that we've just painted in in the grey So it's not going to take too long to do this. I'm just going to whisk through. Um, you know, hopefully we're going to get that video where we do the cases and the not the cases, the um, the boxes and the crates and whatever. Hopefully we're going to get them painted over the next couple of days. It's Sunday afternoon when we've uh, at the moment. And there we are. It's not an absolutely massive paint job this what we're doing. Hopefully Oops. I'm going around this as well trying to disguise some of the brush strokes. Right. Hopefully when it dries it will disguise enough as it is. Okay so that's that step. <coughs> 
Next, I want to put some more of this Stonehouse Silver out um, because we don't have much left of it. And it's very, very thick at the moment. So I've got a funny feeling the lid didn't get um, fastened on properly and some of the water evaporated from it. But never mind. So we've got that. Move it over to here, we'll move a little bit of it over to here and then we're going to carry on with the way we've been doing it before. There we are. So, I'm going to start off here. And we're going to give this a coating all over of this colour. Now when I say all over, don't well, for the majority of parts we're going to do this all over. Um, it's not going to be an all over um, coat like we did the previous version. I'm going to get some of most of the paint off this brush at the moment and then we're going to change to a smaller brush but at the moment I just want to get as much of this paint off this brush as I can so as you can see it's got the shimmer effect to it that I want um, which ties in with the way we've been doing this before but this time we're going to go a little bit further with it in fact I'm going to keep hold of this brush for the time being and get on the bigger oops larger areas done first pick up before I come in and get the detailed areas done. Program activated. to get changed into a smaller brush after all I need to get it all done I want it with the big brush at least I think I have but not quite I just need to touch up a little bit here because I forgot to do around the edge here 
thought I forgot to do something. Oh, yeah. Right, so that's that stage done. The next thing we're going to do is add some white into that. And as you know by now, I picked up the wrong colour. I did want white scar, but I wanted a normal one, and I got the uh, um, the one that's specially done for um, uh, brushes. So I'm going to add a load of this into the grey and um, what you call it, Stormhold Silver mix to make it a much paler colour. And for this one, we are going into. Or we are going to be using a smaller brush for this set stage because this is a much more detailed version. I don't want this going everywhere. So I need to find my small brush. You will do. So. We will start on this area and we'll run down here. There's not much of a difference looking at this. But what difference there is is going to stand up when we've finished. So we just keep going. It's pale enough for what we need. I don't want this incredibly. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Incredibly white. I want it to still have that metallic shimmer to it. So that's about it for what we want to do here. And I'm just making sure I go over everywhere that we want to go over. I haven't gone over the top bit here, so I'll do that now. And then I'm going to explain the next step. Okay, so I want different colours in these, not just white, but I want the majority of it to be white. Um, so the tanks, what's in the tanks is going to be a different colour. Um, I'm going to try and do a few weird things 
with the tanks and see how that goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, so as I said, all I can do is just hope for the best that what I plan to do will work. If it doesn't, I have another trick up my sleeve that I'm going to give a try of. Which might or might not work, I'm not 100%. <clears throat> so, next step is using. I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use. No oil. Okay, I'm still going to use this small brush. I push that one to one side. Right, I need to get quite a bit of this grey off the brush, which is seems to be drying in. I have to give it a watch. We call it. Um, I'm playing with the soap afterwards when I finish this. Ready up. Okay, so we're going to have a null oil wash on these corrugated pipes or bendy pipes, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. of the wash in these little slits on the edge of the base. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered, it's just to distinguish them. that and now here and we'll just cover all these areas with the low eye wash um, allow it to sink in obviously the um, recesses which is what the wash is supposed to do um, don't allow it to go anywhere you don't um, anywhere outside of those that looks fine and now I'm just going to give a wash to the underside of here but just on the inside panels. I'm not doing a full wash. I'm just trying to grey these po these bits down because these are in shadow. I don't want them to be too too bright. I'm going to do this exactly the same thing on both program activated these
and now I've come to the end of this section. Um, we've got the all the areas that we want doing. And, uh, in fact, we haven't because I decided to do something new on the second one. So I'm going to go quickly over the area I haven't done on this this one. Um, want to make them look similar um, with the main body, uh, but as I said, we're going to have other ways of making them look different later on. So, um, it's just a small area. That's it. Now, um, I don't think we'll be needing to you know, wait for that wash to dry while we carry on with the next part because I'm not going to be touching the areas where the wash is.